as you mentioned, um, focus on career planning and helping people at their initial stages of the career is the area that we're going to focus on today. As we talked about before, there's a lot of people who are very uncertain now they've graduated from university about the first steps to take on their career path and how they can how they can go forward. So thinking about that in career planning, where do people need to start when they don't know where to start? <laughs> the ultimate question. I, I, the, the, the obvious answer is it's probably best to start on a journey from where you are and get to where you want to go. Um, and, and so start from where you are. And what I mean by that is try and figure out where you are. And then think about where you want to be. So you've got A to B. And, re and, and try to get past that feeling, God, how is it? how am I going to get there? Try to break that process up into steps. And it can be as many steps as you want. So even if you're living on a friend's couch and you haven't got a clue what you want to do with your life, and you'd want to be an uh, astronaut, you know, why not? There are astronauts. There's probably hundreds of them by now. Why, why shouldn't you try and be one? But you've got to figure out what's the first step. Obviously, you can't pick up the phone and ring up NASA and ask for a job. You've got to try and take it back and figure out the first step. And that can be as small as you want. So it, it doesn't have to. It could be get out of the couch and go, go, um, go and read about being an astronaut. Whatever it is, the first stage doesn't have to be big. It just has to be that first little step. And... In terms then of, I think one of the problems that um, people I've spoken to face is that they feel there's so many options out there. They've, they've graduated and there's so many things they want to do and they're not sure about how to narrow down the options so it's a more tangible, easier place to start. I mean, how would you recommend that they, they break it down and so it's not such a huge, insurmountable problem? Yeah, James, I, I agree. That is, I think, the biggest problem for, for graduates today it's it, it well it, on one hand it's a problem having all those options on the other hand it you will people will start to realize as i have that that is actually an opportunity and I'm, that's just not some american speak that i'm giving you there that's that's um the way it is in other words if you're jose Mourinho and you've got 50 players that you could desperately want to play in your team and you've got to only pick 11 that's a problem, but it actually it's quite a good thing compared yeah. to South End United, who can get two men and a boy to play in defence. So, however, that doesn't take cure the problem. The problem is that graduate recruitment has changed radically over the last 20 years, but people's sensibilities and people's parents' understanding hasn't changed at all. People still think you do a degree in biochemistry and you become a biochemist you do an economics degree you become an economist that is just not true 70 percent of people end up in careers not related to their degrees so as you say you have this world of opportunity probably almost every career there is with almost every degree you can get into and that's like what the hell where do i start well where you start is two two sort of faceted one is you've got to figure out yourself and on the other hand, you've got to figure out what's out there. And and it, it, it depends on yourself where you start. But in terms of figuring out what's out there, which is probably what you're alluding to in the question, is I think people assume that they're meant to know everything that's out there. You know, for some reason, that people say to them, what do you want to do now when you've left university? What do you want to do when you grow up? And you're meant to know the answer. Well, we all know teacher... Uh, lawyer, uh, work for the BBC. We all know these sort of main criteria, these main jobs, these obvious jobs, dentist, doctor. But very, very few graduates or students know more than 10% of the careers that are out there. And there are actual ways of researching that beyond your own experience. People feel they have to know what these things are just from their own experience. So the first step, I say, is, is get out of yourself and do some independent research, some objective research where you look and see what your options are. Before you can choose an option, you need to know what your options are. So I, 
do you want me to go into some various ways of looking into those options or yeah yeah no if there's uh, uh, some practical examples you think to be right. used well one place i started there's a website called prospects.ac.uk on that website has various information about graduate careers i would suggest you look at that and look at any career you've ever thought of even in your bit as a child and pick that career and look at it so let's say i as, as a child i wanted to be a football player for example so i'll look up football player they might not have football player they'll have something like sportsman or something and look that up and then there's a great button on their website that says related jobs so i would look up sportsman and then see that actually I'm, I'm a bit fat and old to do that so maybe i need to do something else and i look at related jobs and it will come up with a list of jobs that are related to that so there might be sports coach there might be administrator for a, for a, for an org, a sports organization it might have a pe teacher it might have hundreds of things i don't know what it's got but then look at any of those that are interesting and then click the related jobs button etc cetera, etc cetera. and i find that a great way to go around the the, the the list the list of a thousand jobs in a way that's intuitive to what you enjoy and then i would just write down any that come to mind that's probably a place i'd start i think that's as good a place as any but what i would do is i would say right i've got till the end of this week i've got to the end of this month whatever date you put i would not go to the next stage i wouldn't start thinking well how do i get into that what can i do when i get into that what how can no this stage is just see what's out there come up with a list of 30 odd jobs that look interesting that's all i'm doing because if you break the process up it's like breaking a project up for a university. The projects you get towards the end of university are too complicated to do in one go. So what you intuitively do is break them up. And that's the key to taking control of your career. Break it up. So the first step, see what's out there. Come up with 30 ideas, full stop, and then move on to the next step. And that's one way of, one way of navigating the prospects website. I, I, I know I sound like a salesman, but... Um, you know this is only a half an hour podcast i could go on for two hours about the ways you can look for roles um but luckily i've written them all down in my book so. <laughs> yep. and in the show notes i'll linking to uh, there'll be links to the prospects website and, and the links that steve just mentioned